Hey guys, it's Simplicity, and welcome back to another part of Life After University. I'm filming this part right after the last one because I'm, like, super busy with school, and I'm not getting, like, a proper Christmas break, so I'm trying to, like, film whenever I can, so bulk filming it is. But we are back the next morning. I'm going to get the dog to come outside and go pee and then go to uh, go and get some food, and then he can chew on his toy. If you guys didn't watch the last part, we adopted a dog. His name is Prince. Um, may or may not be a temporary name. I'm really not too sure quite yet. But Opal is also awake. I'm going to let her take herself a bath this morning. She's pregnant, so let her relax a bit and do her own thing. And then Luke, he can go to the bathroom when he wakes up. And then maybe come and take care of Jace might be a good idea. So maybe we'll, um, what should we do first? Probably change his diaper. Okay. And then you can come downstairs and eat. Let's eat some... We'll do some wedding cake, I guess. I don't really know. She wants to eat ice cream and spaghetti. But I don't think anyone knows how to make spaghetti. I'm not, like, 100% sure. Don't quote me on that. But I don't think any of those things know how. So. Uh, yeah, here's Miss Pregnant Opal. She's got the little belly walk going on. Um, Her stomach doesn't look all that big. I believe it's the shirt she's wearing at, like hide some of it but we've got the pregnant little waddle going on and it's like super cute and i'm gonna say jace's phone's ringing so we're just gonna ignore that call just because i'm gonna let him finish sleeping and opal's just gonna go ahead and grab some food because she is eating for two and if she wants to eat the cake she can eat the cake and then a little puppy just finished eating too i've got like this really annoying itch on my hand like in between like my thumb and my second like pointer finger and it's driving me insane but okay so we are going to praise Prince for being neat and then we'll probably praise him for being non-destructive when he's done this as well she's gonna go ahead and clean on up her dish though oh quick disclaimer if you guys hear any noise in the background of beeping or the vehicle's moving solely still under construction as I'm filming this um should hopefully be done soon I think I think. I think. I really don't know. But we're going to go ahead and praise Prince for being neat and for being non-destructive. Hopefully we can get him to be both because that would be like ideal. So then I'm just going to have her go ahead and socialize with Prince a little bit. I do want them to be like companions. So she's going to talk to and let him sniff her hand. Just kind of get along. Or try to at least. That's the one thing, like, I know it's, like, realistic because you adopt a pet from a shelter. They're not going to be, like, close friends with you right away kind of thing. I just wish it didn't take so long. That's all. Oh, Jace is awake. I can heal him. Um, will he let us pet him? No, I didn't think so. Okay. We're just going to stick to talking and letting Sniff hand, apparently. Because those are, like, the only two interactions that actually work on a puppy. And, like, I feel like they'll get bored of it, but we'll do our best. Um, he's going to go ahead and change Jace's diaper. And then maybe we'll have him, like, toss him around or tickle him or something. We'll toss him in the air, tickle him, and we'll snuggle him just to get his social up a bit. And then we'll bring him down here so we can eat some breakfast in the high chair. All right. Okay, so the relationship between Opal and Prince should be going up. Um, yeah, I know that it will get bored, but I'm just, I'm trying here. So it did go up a little bit, which is nice. Um, Opal's social is all the way up now, which is good. I'm going to see if I can get her to do some laundry. And Prince, I'm going to let you keep on chewing on your chew toy. Alright, and then we'll come back up here to this cuteness between these two. Like father, like son. Okay, well, they're going to walk away. All right, so we're going to go ahead and feed Jace, and then we'll get Luke to eat some food as well. But, yeah, we're going to focus on Jace as of right now, just because he's a little toddler. He needs some food. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and give baby food, and then we'll let Luke come over here. He can also eat some wedding cake, I guess. Okay. Um, Opal, I believe I heard the mailman I did. So I'm going to let her come out here and get the mail. And oh, I found a hopscotch thing in like our family inventory, so I just figured I'd place it. I mean, I know, but 
That was fast. Prince Arlen has gained the non-destructive trait. That was, like, super fast. So he's non-destructive and quiet, and he ages up in two days. So that's kind of exciting. Um, I think our washing machine's broken. But I'm really not... Oh, it might be. I'm not sure. I didn't let Luke eat. He's starving. So, he can go ahead and eat. Our washing machine can do whatever the heck it's doing. I really don't care at this point. Okay. Um, Opal, can you come and clean this toilet? Okay, our laundry is done. But these two are just, oh, I guess Jace is done eating. But now he's crying. I need you to clean that up for me, and then you can come and pick him up. I'm going to give Opal, like, a bit of a break from, like, taking care of kids. She's just going to kind of do, like, some around the house stuff, I guess. I guess that's what that would be considered. But okay, so Luke and Jace are both fed, which is awesome. I'm going to get him to change his outfit to his everyday wear. And then we'll probably bring him up here so he can go potty. So we will put him down right there. Okay, our dog's in a good mood, so that's good. All right. You guys are honestly, this series is honestly exactly how I play my game. So you guys are seeing, like, how I play and, like, stuff like that, which is, like, awesome. I love it. I love how chill this series is. Like, so many of my videos lately have been so chill. And it's awesome. I love it. Um, I'm just going to go around and see if anything else is dirty that could possibly be cleaned. Just because it gives Opal something to do. But I think we're pretty much good to go. I hit the wrong button. Yeah, I'd say we're pretty much good to go. So I'm going to let her come and use the toilet and then um, continue her painting. Just because I do want a little bit of extra simoleons in this household. So that's what we're going to work towards. Um... Sorry, I got a text, but I'm not answering my text messages in this part. I'm focused on filming. And then I'm going to go and write an essay after this. I honestly should be writing my essay now. But I wanted to film. So here we are. We're filming. Okay. So Miss Opal, you can go and paint. And I think we actually might, we'll be giving birth in the next part. I think. Either this part or the next part. That's crazy. I need baby names. Because obviously the last part hasn't went up yet either. But I, I need baby names. So if you guys have any baby names, can you leave me some? That'd be awesome. Because I won't be bulk filming like this anymore for quite a little while. Because I'm pretty much almost done like my December schedule. So like the day I'm filming this is the... Well, the... It's the 29th of November right now. So I'm done all videos except for my two-year YouTube anniversary, my current household, a speed build, and then I have two extra creator sims. And one's like a Christmas cast and like another one's... Actually, I guess I don't know. I only have one cast. Got me on that. And then I have to figure out a video for the 5th of January. Other than that, like, I'm done for this month, which is, like, absolutely insane. But then again, the video, I just finished filming the, I guess it would be part 12 of um, Life After University goes up in two weeks. So really, I'm not that far ahead of my schedule, if you think about it. So. All right. Sorry about that, you guys. I just kind of went off on a little bit of a tangent there. But I'm going to get Luke to come and interact with the Prince because I don't think they have yet. So we're just going to let them interact a bit. And then you can go and get the clean laundry. And I don't think we have any laundry, so he can go ahead and take out the trash. Okay, so Luke and Prince had a little bit of interaction, which is, like, awesome. 
Jace has learned all that he can from the Xylophone. This is sure to aid him in skill development later in life. Alright, so now we're going to have him go and play with the peg box. Is that what that's called? Peg box? Something like that. Alright. I really need to change Luke's outfits, but I'll probably do that off camera. If I remember. Can you guys leave that in the comments down below too? Telling me to like change some of his outfits up because they're like all messed up and not what they're supposed to be. But he's going to go play with Jace after. I'm going to go get a puppy to go ahead and eat. He was hanging out with Opal though, which is like super cute. I feel like Prince and Opal are going to be like super close. Um, Opal just finished a painting. Um... I mean, I guess we could scan it for her work. I guess. And then I'll probably just get her to go ahead and sell it. I'm thinking, I'm thinking. Alright, and we still have, like, a paparazzi outside of her house, which is so weird. But okay, so we're going to go ahead and sell that. Um, puppy needs to go pee, so I'm going to pause this really quick. And you can kind of pee out here. And Opal has a phone call, but I'm going to let her sell her painting first. Okay. So then you can go ahead and answer your phone. Uh, Giovanni Carrington would like to chat. I have no idea who that is, but okay, sure. And then she's going to go and eat some salad when she's done. The boys are both in good moods, which is good. Um, I her socials up all the way, so she really doesn't need to be chatting. But we're gonna come up here and look at these two cuties. Obviously, I'm gonna take a screenshot because, like, look at how cute they're playing. Which, oh, there's actually clothes inside that dresser. All right. There we go. I was wondering, like, a moment that it actually looks like he's, like, playing. There we go. Super cute, super cute. Alright, so Opal is going to go and get some food. She's super pregnant. It's kind of crazy. Oh, we got a puppy playing in puddles. Are you playing in your pee? That's gross. Reinforcement, scold for... Do I want to scold for being hyper? Yeah, I guess so. I don't think we want a hyper dog with like... Pets are that. Um, excuse me. Get away from my dog. My dog don't like you. We don't like the fact that you're here. Get away from my dog. Alright. Alright, alright. I'm gonna have Luke come and bring Jace down to the high chair so he can get some food. Uh, Opal should be going, yeah, I was gonna say she should be going to talk to the puppy. We don't want a hyper puppy. Alright, I'm going to have her go and use the toilet again. I know she doesn't need to, but like I want her out of the way so that Luke can put Jace down. Alright. So, I'm going to have you come out here. Jace, I'm going to get you to give some baby food. And then I'm going to get these two to be all cute. Alright. So I'm going to have him come over here and kiss her because that is something he wants to do. And that way our baby's being fed too, which is like good. Okay. What else do you want to do? You want to chat with her? We can do that. Friendly chat. So I'll let these two go ahead and chat as well. Puppy's going outside apparently. Alright. Uh, what else do we got? Send a text to Jace. You can't do that. You want to tickle Jace? We can do. Do you have any wants for Luke? No. Well, okay. Um, I'm going to want you to go ahead and compliment her appearance. Make herself feel, like, good about herself. And you can flirt with her. I just, I want them to be cute, you guys. I just want them to be really cute. And give her a dip kiss. I don't know. I want them cute. 
because I feel like they don't really, like, do a whole lot of, like, romantic interactions lately. They, like, interact with each other a whole lot. Like, obviously, then, like, and he just leveled up his charisma, which is even better. Okay. Um, I do want to actually see if I, okay, yeah. I was wanting to build it up as well to see if I can get Luke to give her a massage because she does want one and, like, she's pregnant, so. Obviously, I'm going to make Luke do it instead of paying money. And then he can go ahead and eat some food. And then Miss Opal, I'm going to let you go ahead and pick up Jace. And there we go. And she wants to watch the stars with Luke, which is super cute. Okay. So he needs to go potty. And she needs to take a shower, so that kind of works out. Alright, so I'm going to have her come up here. And we're going to go ahead and... Oh, I can't yet. Um, we're going to put Jace down in the bathroom. Uh, puppy sleeping outside. I'm going to have a dog come and actually get some sleep in here. Just because it's like warmer in here. And then Luke, you're going to clean up your dish first. And then I'll let him come and use this toilet. And just kind of cue him up some things. Okay. So we'll follow Miss Opal. So we can get these two queued up, good to go. I'm going to let you take a shower. You can go and use your potty chair. All right. Perfect. We're not going to have a toddler having a little accident because he's potty trained. Um, Luke, I'm going to let you come up here and take a shower as well, I think. Um, I'm going to send Opal to use the toilet just so she's not getting up in the middle of the night. And then she's going to go ahead and head off to sleep. And then I'll let Jace take over. And actually, you can go here because we can't pick you up over there. So Actually, maybe I'll get Opal to do it just because he's already done. Uh, Luke just lost some funds, but that's all right. Um, I'm gonna get you to come and change Jace's diaper. Just because I, it's an easy interaction and, like, I feel like that'd be something you would do before bed. Like, obviously I'm not a mom, so I don't know, but I feel like that's common sense. Alright, and then we will go ahead and bring little Jace on over here to bed. And then we'll go ahead and also send Opal to bed, and I think Luke... He's also actually going to go to bed, but he needs to empty out this potty first. Because that's gross. And our toilet needs cleaned. And then he's going to head off to bed. But I'm going to go ahead and wrap this part up here. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, you can go ahead and hit that like button down below. If you guys want to see some more videos from me, you can go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below as well. And if you already subscribed and want notifications when I post, go ahead and hit that little bell notification thingy down there. I think you can set it up how you want, but I'm not sure. And I will see you guys all in my very next video. Bye, guys.